This video is about the remarkable development of Sunspot Region Active Region 27 to 36. First I'm going to show you a movie of the sunspots developing and you will note that the leading sunspot in this group seems to be rotating and that's a very strong indicator for the possibility of strong flares. Next I'm going to show you the same movie but using the magnetogram. Here you can see the develop more clearly and notice the mixture of both positive and negative polarity. You can also possibly see some of that same rotation in this movie too. Well let's take a look at what the corona is doing. This is in the AIA Instruments 193 channel, that's about a million degrees or so. And so we're seeing what's going to be happening up in the corona. You can see some of the flares produce shock waves. And that possibly means that we're going to have a coronal mass ejection associated with this event. Next we're going to take a look at the AIA Instruments 131 channel. This is about 4 million degrees, so it's much hotter. Uh, and so consequently you can see the development of the region and particularly you see the flares that are occurring in the region. You can see it becomes very active very rapidly. Well, are there any CMEs? Well, let's take a look at the Soho Lasco movie and see. Look to the right of this, which is beyond the west limb of the sun, and that's where you'll see there's the first coronal mass ejection. There's a second. There's three repeats of this movie. And now the third one. Now let's take a look at the X-ray flux coming from the sun and we've had six C-class flares in less than two days and I suspect there'll be more such flares on the way. We started off with a C4 event back on the March the 20th. That was followed by a C1 event early this morning. That was close to a C5 event. And more recently we've had two C1 events and a C2 event. And I suspect, as I say, more of these will be on the way, possibly even an M flare. So keep an eye on this spot. Until next time, goodbye.